Hey everyone, now in today's video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I use different AI tools to build designs that look like this. These are website designs that look alive, they look interactive, they look just simply beautiful. And the process is pretty simple, right? I don't use any type of code at all to, to build out this entire design. And I'm gonna go th through the whole process from scratch to finish using these different AI tools and then show you at the end how you can bring that into your cursor project. So if that's something interesting for you guys, stick around and let's get started. And actually, before we get started, I'd love to kindly invite you guys to my Discord community where a you know big Discord community filled with different startup founders, designers, developers. It's a great place to kind of interact with, uh, with another. And uh, we basically do live calls every single day. So you can meet us, you can meet me, and you can meet the other people in my community to kind of you know network and ask questions. We go over different tools. So if that sounds interesting for you guys, you know, feel free to join that. Link is down in the description below. So a good place where I like to start off in is uh, Mid Journey because in Mid Journey, you have a big feed of different videos and images. And basically you can find an image that you find inspiring and build the design or the hero section off of that. So we can get something like this, for example, and just pause this. And I'm just gonna take a screenshot of this. And then inside of ChatGPT, I can add this photo and I can ask it to change the dimensions and the you know the content of the image so let's say instead of it being foggy and kind of like a jungle we want it to be more you know a snowy setting i also like this image a lot so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a screenshot of this and as the other one is generating you can see that it's adding the details i'm just going to add this new image in here and i'm going to say make it add a dark setting and with minimal neon lights similar to the image reference that i'm going to give it but as you can see, this snowy this snowy one looks actually pretty good. But let's see how, what what this new combination looks like with that other image that I that I added to the chat. All right, so it didn't really add the light, but we get some cool little image over here, kind of like a dark mode. I really like it. It looks a little bit creepy, but it's kind of what I was imagining. Now we could add some light, like some decorations on the trees, but I think this looks pretty good. So let's continue with this. And what I want to do here is I want to just download this and going back into ma in, into mid journey. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this text, right? I'm going to use this text and I'm going to upload an image reference. So I'm going to use this text of this image, right? Put it up here and I'm going to use that image reference that we got in ChatGPT and we're going to open it and we're going to use it, right? So we have this one, this is the starting frame and I'm going to go ahead and submit this and we're starting to get really nice results, right? So let's just click on this one, for example, and you can see that it kind of pans out. You can see some snow falling that looks really nice. The next one is a little bit smoother and this one kind of zooms up to the night sky. I think I like this one the most and we can extend the video to low motion. Let's try that. So now instead of five seconds, it's going to be nine seconds. So I really like this one that it kind of ends like this, that it's a little bit of a mystery. So what we're going to do, we like this video. So we're going to keep it here in one tab. So now what we can do is we can look for different design inspirations. I like to look at Dribbble. I like to look at Behance, maybe uh, awards or, or even like framer templates. That's also a good, you know, source of inspiration. But this video kind of reminds me of you know, a sci-fi movie or, or a type of mystery movie. So I want this to be the background video of the hero section. And then we can put our, you know, text, our nav bar, our buttons and all of that on top of this layer. And I actually really like this one, right? We have, it's kind of like a Netflix type of style. So we have this Captain America and we have Captain America behind. And then we have these little movie trailers over here. So I kind of like this style. And again, shout outs to Doramala for this design. But what we're gonna do now is we're just going to take a screenshot of this. And then I'm gonna use a tool called Magic Path, which is basically like, let's say if Figma and Cursor had a baby, right? This is Magic Path. And to get started, I'm just gonna double click somewhere, just zoom in a little bit. And I'm gonna add this image reference from the screenshot that we just took. And I can say, I wanna build a hero section for a movie streaming service, right? We can go ahead and click on submit and we basically get something like this, right? We even get Spider-Man at the background. It looks amazing for a first shot, but we wanna add our own design here. Now, first things first is that the nav bar, as you can see, is kind of like over the image and I want it to overlap the image instead of it being over the image. So we can ask Magic Path to do that and boom, that's how it works, right? We get the nav bar overlapping the image and it's great, but there are a few things that we want to kind of change. We can see that, you know, there's a little bit of some issues here with alignments, so we can go ahead and fix that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, you know, select this edit component, 
tool up here, select on this nav, select this nav bar, and we can add some more padding on the left and right, right? So right now it's like a 24, we can do something like 120 or something like that. And by the way, whenever you do these changes, like these manual changes, like the padding or, or margin or any of these things that you're going to see now, change it in the fonts, all of these, they don't cost any single credit. So if you're using this for free, you get five credits a day until you reach 30. And doing these changes, you don't get charged any credit. And I really want to use this video now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the video URL and I'm going to go back into Magic Path. I'm going to ask Magic Path to basically just replace Mr. Spider-Man with the video that we created. So I'm going to say replace the background image with the following video. I just paste in that, that video URL and boom, we get our video looking nice. This is amazing. So we do have to change a few things. I don't like how this text is red. This, this button is red. I like how this button is, is, is white once you hover over it, but I want to change this color to something a little bit more blue. And when I think about blue, I think about something like Webflow, for example. So, you, you know, you can go to some type of app where you like the blue color, Facebook, Best Buy, Webflow, whatever. And you can use this CSS uh, peeper uh, Chrome extension, right? And basically you go into colors and you can see the colors that it uses. So for, for instance, I really like this blue color. You can copy this hex code and then go back into Magic Path, select this component, click on the button, and then you can go ahead and change the background color. Let's just choose hex and paste this in here. And then as you can see, it starts to replace to this blue. And we basically want to do the same thing with all these other elements as well. All right, and it's starting to look more like it. Now, this is not really a Captain America movie, so I want to kind of change the title. I want to change the font family as well. It looks a little bit off. So instead of Captain America, we can call it like Until Dawn, right? And we can like manually change it like I just did right now. Or you can go ahead and or you can go ahead and ask edit with AI so that the AI can actually change this information to actually fit the until dawn actors, movie length, uh, you know, release dates, so on and so forth. Now for the font family, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Google fonts and I'm going to type something. I'm going to type until dawn. And this is where we can find fonts that also work inside of magic path. So we want to find something that is a little bit, you know, interesting. I like this Oswald one and we can go ahead and select this and go to font family and search for Oswald. Here we go. All right, looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and choose that one. And let's make it a little bit larger maybe, like 8XL. All right, I like this. And I'm also gonna make sure to make this um, nav bar a little bit, you know, put the, the text in the center. And now it's actually starting to look really, really good. Maybe we can add a little bit more space at the top. If I select, if I select this, I can add more padding at the top, let's see. If I go like that, yeah, perfect. Click on save. All right, and now once we're done with our design here in Magic Path, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna select this frame. And then up here, we have this code icon. Let's just select that. These are basically like the different files that consist, that, that this design consists of. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this in cursor. So it's simply just clicking on this button, copying this command. Let's just copy that. And then opening your terminal and pasting in this command. And you want to rename it to like until dawn. And then you're going to hit enter when it hits when it says cursor. And then voila, we're here in cursor. All of our files are here. So just to confirm that we're just going to run this project and I'm going to click on this local host and we get our project looking very nice with the project with the with the movie title with the description with the nav bar at the top with the video backgrounds looking great and again here on the side we can ask cursor to you know populate the rest of the website and then cursor says that it's you know implemented the changes we have three movie categories action horror and comedy so let's go ahead and click and click on accept all and going back over here we can scroll down and we kind of get our movie categories over here we have action action adventure horror comedy all in this in this particular style but yeah guys that's pretty much it i just wanted to kind of show you how you can gather inspiration how you can create um, different assets like this like this cool background video and how you can leverage ai tools like magic path to actually build out beautiful websites inside of cursor if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to me or just comment something down below or just join my discord i'm there you can just dm me you can just you know write a message there thank you guys so much for watching Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Goodbye.